welcome to Igor Tech channel. In this video, I will show you how to increase virtual memory on Windows 10. Does your Windows 10 installation feel like it slows down over time? As the hardware requirements for popular apps increase, your aging hardware suffers. Often there is a simple culprit, low memory. If you don't have enough system memory, your system will slow to a crawl when you attempt to run multiple resource intensive programs. Virtual memory is the name of a function that has Windows dedicate part of your storage drive as pretend RAM, this section is called the paging file. With more RAM, you can have more tasks running on your system at once. So if Windows is close to maxing out actual RAM, it dips into virtual memory. Here's how to set the virtual memory size and boost performance. Open settings, or go to control panel, then click on system. Click on about. Under the related settings section, on the right pane, click the advanced system settings link from the left pane. Click the advanced tab. Under the performance section, click the settings button. Click the advanced tab. Under the virtual memory section, click the change button. Clear the automatically manage paging file size for all drives option. Select the custom size option. Specify the initial and maximum size for the paging file in megabytes. Usually it's recommended to use a number that's one and a half times the total of installed RAM for the initial size and three times of installed RAM for the maximum size when possible. Basing from my system RAM, the initial size will be 12 GB and maximum size will be 24 GB. Click the set button. Click the OK button. Then click the OK button again. After you complete the steps, the device will restart to apply the changes. In the event that the new settings are causing issues, you can always revert the changes using the same instructions, but on the virtual memory tab, make sure to select the system managed size option, and check the automatically manage paging file size for all drives option. This covers adjusting virtual memory. If you found this tutorial is helpful, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.